We are learning new information about the man who faces second degree murder charges in the connection to the death of a missing Virginia Beach woman. Investigators reported 40 year old Marie Covington missing on August 20th. Well, Casey Baylor found newly uh, filed court documents here and brings us the very latest. Casey, what have you found out? Well, Bethany, Norfolk police found Marie Covington dead Saturday night off Gout Street in Norfolk. Hours later, Virginia State Police troopers arrested Gary Morton on traffic charges. Now, these newly fired court documents also tell us about the chase that led him behind bars. Gary Morton appeared on video in Chesapeake General District Court Monday morning where a judge appointed him a lawyer. According to newly filed paperwork, a Virginia State Police trooper tried stopping Morton for failing to maintain a lane on Greenbrier Parkway around 3 Saturday morning. Officials say he drove a 2016 Ford SUV and entered I-64 west towards Norfolk. Documents say Morton failed to stop and traveled over 115 miles per hour. Troopers say the SUV stopped at a junkyard park lot in Norfolk and Morton got out of the car and ran away. Paperwork says the state trooper noticed Morton hop a fence to Pennington Road and later detained him around 4 a.m. Investigators say they found two semi-automatic pistols in the car, but documents say Morton doesn't have a concealed carry permit. Detectives say they also found an open bottle of alcohol in the car and noticed a strong smell of alcohol coming from Morton's breath. And these documents also say Morton refused to give a sample of his breath for a sobriety test. Morton also faces charges of driving, a charge with a driving without a license, I should say. And again, Morton faces second degree murder and gun charges out of Norfolk in connection to the death of Marie Covington. Now, those charges came after his arrest in Chesapeake. I'm Casey Baylor for 13 News Now. All right, Casey, thank you. Now, Morton did not request a bond hearing. He will return to court in Chesapeake for a preliminary hearing this October.